All right, you welcome back. This is Seal the Blog here on Wazobia Max. And oh my goodness, it got so cold in here. We are freezing in here because our guest is with us in the studio and we cannot wait to introduce. Now, you might have already guessed because we've given you all the hints you need to know about it. Mm -hmm. But ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up for the one they call Daddy, Daddy Free. <laughs> the man made of ice. Yeah. He holds no punches. Oh, the man you, you actually no, get a ice. round of applause. Ah, you are the first. Easy. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, just go wait to your fans just out wave, there. Yes, because you have so many fans just out wave, there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So many fans. I think the more haters than fans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Love them all. You know, you know. All right, Freeze, we had to Daddy Freeze. I mean, how did you go from Freeze to Daddy Freeze? Okay. Who's your dad? Um, yeah. I, ha I had an identity problem okay. at a point in my life. Um, uh, I was Freeze. Have you tried Googling freeze? Yes, you see right. ice, you see snow, you see... Mm. So mm. I couldn't... I, it was getting to a point where um, my career needed some sort of social media identity, not even so, internet identity. Mm. And freeze, you know, there has to be something that would make it my freeze. And I searched up and down. Uh, freeze of Cool FM, mm. you know, and knowing that Cool FM is my brand, I love Cool FM with my soul, but I, sometimes I'm so naughty that I don't really want to drag Cool FM inside <laughs> this mess. No, I'm, I'm going to get in. to that. I know I'm going in this mess. Yeah. Do I really want to pull a whole station with me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're such wonderful people, they never complain, but sometimes I feel sorry for them, like really, mm -hmm. you know? So I was like, let me put something. I was in that sphere for about three years. Then I used to say something on the radio. I used to say, who's your daddy? You Just know? on radio? On radio. Ah! Only on radio. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny. Nice, nice. Destiny. Who's your daddy? <laughs> Destiny told me her dad. <laughs> Please, uh, parental guidance advice at this point. Okay. Daddy, don't you have a daddy? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a daddy, do you? Is he an allergy? Is he a chairman or is he an allergy? Is he a chairman or is he an allergy? You know, so I used to say that a lot on the radio. People didn't get what I was, I was being naughty, but most people didn't get it. So mm -hmm. I was like, who's your daddy? Anybody that calls, once I pick the phone, I'm like, who's your daddy? And they say, Freeze is my daddy. Mm. So it became <laughs> Daddy Freeze. <laughs> That's how it evolved. But the person who has credit for giving me that name is mm. Dotsun. Really? Okay. Yes. Okay. It was Dotsun one day that said Daddy Freeze, and from then on it, it, it grew. Oh, wow. Oh, that's okay. well done. Thanks for you know, giving him that <sighs> identity. Well, yeah. he didn't give him an identity, but at least for contributing certainly to that. Now, that freeze, we're going to talk a lot about a lot of things. Now, only, was it this week? Yeah. On Tuesday, mm -hmm. we had a story, and it's been trending amongst many other stories. I have so many things. I forgot to bring my catalog of questions for you. <laughs> now, one of the things you did, I mean, or, 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 I mean, out of all the things that you did, first of all, let me even start from the apologies, because mm. that's the most recent thing that has been trending on social media. Mm. You, initially, let me tell you how I even found out. I was on Facebook because I follow you on Twitter, on Instagram and Facebook. And I was on Facebook and I saw you put up the picture of, um, of a yes of a pastor. I didn't want to mention him. <laughs> he mentioned <clears throat> of a certain pastor that you had come out against during a controversy that he had, and you were very vocal about it. And then I saw you saying that, saying you're giving him accolades, and I was like, ah, this daddy freeze has started again. Then I now went on your Instagram page, and I saw that you didn't stop there. You all the people you had ever had beef with, including basket mouth. You put up their picture, you apologized to them. Not only that, you then even said good things. Even the girls who slid into your DM, you said, you know, even though you found my trouble. That they are very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? People were so scared, even okay. your commenters. Um, a lot of people want to know what's behind that. And there was one person in church that called me aside and said, you call yourself Daddy Freeze, and you don't act like a daddy. I'm like, how does a daddy act? You see, when people err, and you can see some sort of remorse. You should be able to forgive. It was very hard for me because, you see, if you look, there are some people I was very hard on. And like I realized, um, I, was, I can't say I was hard on Basket because he were hard on each other. Yeah. You know, he mm -hmm. gave me an But it was more it personal with Basket because he, you guys have a history together. He is, I'm, I'm going to come to that. But there were some people I criticized mm -hmm. and I realized that in my criticism of their person, sometimes I hit some sensitive nails. 
So I wanted to make peace with them because when your father criticizes you or says, Ayo, you are naughty, what, what you did was wrong, at the end of the day, a good father should still call you call aside you and, and say, Ayo, I love this you. Because I love you. I'm doing this because I love you and I want you to be a better person. Uh, most, if, if you look at the pastors, I didn't apologize. Because there were, especially the Abuja one, I don't want to mention his name, there were things they did that were wrong and they know were wrong. But I want to stretch a hand of friendship towards them and let's say, okay, how can we live in this bad world we are in mm. together? If you look at the governor, the Ekiti state governor, yes, I, saw that one. I was a bit harsh in my criticism. And I know I will continue to criticize him because he, he continues to do the he same thing. He did say that I will not stop So I said I will be more mature because he's an egg ball. I should yeah. treat him like an egg ball mm. when I'm criticizing. But as long as he keeps doing things like showing up in China and speaking to him, to, to air. Even now, you're about to just insult yeah, No, 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 no. He was on the blog. <laughs> Showing up in China. Yeah, just so he <laughs> He was on the blog. <laughs> you know, and, and him, he went, he, we, we all know he went far. He, he, got, he got the president's wife so upset she had to come after him. Yes. He, and you, you, there's a way I would, I, I know I can be very naughty too and annoying, but there's a way I would dig at you, you flare up and you lose all control. Mm. So I will still come after him, but I would use kinder words. Can I add something? Just, 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 yes. Um, I will still come after him. Do you feel the urge to comment? Do you feel the urge to come after people? Are, are you a martyr? Who are you supporting? Who are you speaking for? What's your aim? What's your goal? Because a lot of people, they say, is must you comment? That Brilliantly put. If I came in on this show every week and commented, then there's a problem. I write only on my Instagram page. I love to write. I've always loved to write, right from when I was a child. And um, I kind of believe in my ability to write. I'm sorry. It's not like I feel like I'm bragging. <laughs> it's all good. good. I kind of like you. Your you know, when I start writing, you need, for you. Yeah. Yeah. Twitter, yeah. Twitter was a problem. I can't really put everything in 140 characters. Yeah. Yeah. And Facebook is a bit mommy daddy. You know, it's, mm. it's, I, I, so when Instagram came, Instagram was like a little bit in between Facebook and Twitter, mm. but not as long as Facebook. So I had to go get a website, and I was like, you know what? When I write and it filled, the page fills up in Instagram, I just put to be continued, direct the traffic there to the website. the website. Yes, I write about every, I have my own philosophies. I sit down and I look at the world, and I can see a lot of things most people cannot see. I'm not saying mm. this because I'm bragging. 2003, I hadn't been ill in a long time. I fell ill the day um, the American troops went into Baghdad because I felt it was rape. I tried to get everyone's attention, no one saw it. Two weeks ago, France is now saying that it was the UK's fault. Did it take you 13 years, guys, to, to, to realize this? You see, there's so many things I try to point out to people that they do not see, but would eventually see five so years from now. Almost like a prophet. prophet. Let me give you my most accurate prophecy. On the 1st yeah. of January 2016, on the radio live, I said 2016 was going to be the year of being petty. I swear to God, I had no idea it was going to be this petty. I saw the amount of pettiness that was going to be thrown into 2016, and I was alarmed. Still, when a bank shades another bank, or a country shades a country, <laughs> it gets worrisome. Yeah. When a president's wife abuses a governor on, on Twitter, mm. you, you see... When I, a senator says he's going to rape another senator. When a says. senator goes to another senator's house, house and stands on the road and takes a picture, <laughs> like what Dowda would do in those magazines we used to read as children. <laughs> I don't know if you read those. Yes, I saw them. You read, you read, you read, um, um, you read Dowda? I, I heard about it. Yeah, she's, okay. she's, she's like, the, she's the youngest in the her. midst, yeah, she said, right? She's sweet 18. She's sweet 18. 18. Yeah. She just turned 16. Yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah. I'm, I'm better okay, than so she. so you guys might know, but you understand what I'm talking <laughs> yes. about? This is the height of pettiness. Yeah. How can a bank shade a bank? Mm. It's true. Now, what would you say has been, I mean, you saw something about you that was written in the media, and you were appalled. Like, how can they have misconstrued um, that it freeze oh. in such a huge way? And was there anything you did about it? 
Let me tell you, yeah, there are a lot of bloggers, me included, uh, that, how do I put it? We know what we're doing. We sell the story this way so we can get attention. Mm -hmm. Reaction. Mm -hmm. So when I find myself in the position where they're using me to get attention, I don't get angry because sometimes I do it too. Mm -hmm. I've been misconstrued 99 out of 100 times. Mm. Yeah. Really? Yes. So all, all so, the time when they put your story up, and I would, uh, and okay, let me see, Rep, did, did um, Noble Igwe misconstrue your actions when you tweeted at him a few days back about his wife his not wife being able to not, cook, uh, cooking, and you man. loving the best of both worlds? You see, um, I was making a joke yeah. with Noble. Noble is my guy, and I thought he found it funny. But you see, some guys, they come out on social media and act like it's all cool, then you try, you go there, they give it, they to, give you. it to you. Please, when was the last time you had a conversation with Noble? The day he invited me to his wedding. Oh, okay. And gave me a, 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 an invite, personalized, with my name on it. Mm. And I put, it, I put a picture of it on my Instagram and wished them well, because I wasn't in the country at that time. Okay, okay, so you guys are, are pals. We, I, I've known Noble since he was working in Virgin Atlantic, yeah. Virgin Nigeria. Um, if anybody knows him as far back as then, then, yeah. you know, when he had an office not far away from Cool FM. I've known him for a while. He's a cool guy. He's my guy. So when I saw that, the job that was supposed to be funny, mm. he wasn't taking it lightly. He took it yeah. Yeah. So I just brought him back. I was like, look, my brother, I was just playing around. I thought you were comfortable with it. That's mm -hmm. why you were taking pictures in the first place. And, yeah. you know, but if that my intention was not to hurt you in any way, um, I wish you the best. It's a yeah. new wife. You know that new wife? <laughs> he even said it. I'm so happy to be saying my wife. We'll yeah. talk about that. We still have a few more stories. There's a question I want to ask you with, the, with that question, but I will come back there. It has to do with women and cooking. But yes, we'll have a few more stories to go. Okay, now I'm going to go straight to our um, Tony Lawani one because I'll definitely want you. You have one or two things in common. One, your complexion, you know. Yeah, and Tony Lawani. Um, <laughs> they said I had <laughs> things in common with Kemi. What's that popular lady? It's Kemi. Olunoyo. Olunoyo. They said so. Yes. Mm. Do you like that comparison? Do you like the comparison with Kemi Olunoyo? I respect that she can write. And Do you agree with her opinions? That's why it's an opinion. It's hers. It's her property. Mm. You don't have to agree. I don't with have it. to agree. Half the people don't agree with my opinion until five years later they realize they're in the mess. Hmm. But I follow right. Daddy Frizo. Uh, follow, 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 follow Daddy, follow now. Daddy Frizo. The next story we're going to take is Tony Lawani and her baby daddy and their loggerheads on guess where? Social, social media. media. Social media. As, wow. as, God as bless usual. the person who created, who created Facebook, social media. Twitter, yeah. Instagram, mm. and all mm. the likes. Okay, so it looks like CEO of Tiana's Empire and her fiance, Lord Trigg, the father of her second child, who is 10 years younger than her. So her second child is not 10 years younger than her. It's the man that is 10 years younger than her. <laughs> May have called it quits officially. Now, the young rapper has posted a series of pictures on Instagram and captioned them, hashtag, young girls rock. Mm. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Now, as if that wasn't enough icing on the cake, he also shared photo, a photo announcing his newborn baby with another woman. Nah, lie. Now, look at that. That is so sad. Now, now something else we didn't, um, that we had to also point out is that um, Tiana, that's um, Toin. I keep mm. calling her Tiana. I'm so used to calling her Tiana. But Toin Lawani also posted up a picture where she became philosophical, talking yeah. about do not forget the hands that fed, fed you. you. And so it was but when like did she, that come? About when the same he started? About the same time. But yeah, who, that's who, it. Okay, so that's who it. threw the first shade? He did. Okay. Never break the pots that once gave you water. Never bite the hands that once fed you. Never despise the home that once gave you shelter. And she goes on and on. Be careful how you close the door never ever bang it you may need to walk through that same door tomorrow, tomorrow. Mm. now the question we're asking is is age truly a number when it comes to relationships wow amongst many other questions <laughs> that you can get from that <laughs> because that's such a deep story i mean number one the fact that they are uh, airing their dirty laundry out despite the fact that they shared a personal and loving relationship, they mm. have a child together. And then also the fact that they were, people have always brought their age as a factor. So let me ask you a direct question, Dad Fries. Can you date a woman that is much older than you? I'm 40, so much older than me would be pretty old. Like, no, 50 is like 50. 50. 30. 50. When I was 20, I loved older ladies. When I was 30, I loved my age. Now I'm 40. My woman's got to be a little younger. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we thought you wanted to keep up with the trend that just going up. It's going up. up. It's up, going up. up. You know? Have you, know? you been tempted, though, to like just have a woman look after you financially and otherwise? Or mm -hmm. must she be older? Must she um, be older? <laughs> These uh, young girls that are running the streets, they are able to take care of maybe, many Maybe yeah. because yeah. God has blessed me and I've been able to feed myself from when I was 19. <laughs> I've never thought of getting someone to... I do have some expensive tastes oh, and really? I wouldn't mind if someone could, could yeah. give me a few gifts mm. from time to time. 90 million watch. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about cars, that, you know. expensive cars. Ferrari. Ferrari. I, I, I wish I could. California. I wish I could. Yeah. Let's even talk Trips about you know, some people country. have asked. Many people say, said, um, radio must be very lucrative because you are known to have very expensive tastes. And you are also known to show them on social media. You're not. You're proud of what you've achieved. You're not shy to show what you have worked hard for. How would you say? I mean, when you come across people like that, what do you have to say to them in terms of the fact that how can you afford such luxury? And is it real? Um, I mean, that's the first thing people want to yeah, know. Yeah, true. That. Is it, is it real? Um, you're wearing one at the moment. I've been eyeing it. <clears throat> first things first is mm -hmm. a lot of people invested in property. I also did, but I didn't as much as other people did. Ask me why. Nigeria's foreign reserves are based on the amount of gold we have. Why buy land in a country that buys gold? Why don't you buy gold? It might have been stupid, I'm not an ec economist, but it makes a lot of sense now. I have land that I'm losing value on because Onile are fighting and I can't get to the land. I have land that is about the same price what I bought it. It's, okay, if you, if you buy a plot of land for five million and it grows to seven million, but in that same period, the dollar tripled. The buying power of that five million mm. then and mm. this seven million now is not the same. The five million had so much more value. Mm -hmm. So you've lost money, but you, because you've gained two million, you think you're making money. You're actually losing money. So it's always advisable, I tell people all the time, hedge a part of your investment in jewelry. Because jewelry has a worldwide um, market. I can sell my watch in Dubai, in Hong Kong, in Romania, in South Africa, which I have done. I have traded, I have bought, I have sold. In any country I find myself, there's a watch store, I walk in, I negotiate, I like this, will you take it for this? How much do I need to add? How much? It's a currency. Same thing with gold. You can't, unfortunately, do that with the Naira. Nor with your plot of land in, um, in Lekki or wherever it is. <laughs> in Banana. Oh, I mean, do I, 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 you know something, and I have to say it, obviously, on air, is that I've come to realize, obviously, I've known you, um, worked in the same organization, but also the fact that I'm talking to you closely, I know that you're actually an intelligent mind. I have to say that. Like, look at that, you're like, oh, wow, you're you know, very intellectual, you do things a bit differently, you're eclectic, you're for someone to be For someone who is very controversial, you have to be intelligent. It's yes, just, you have, you to, have to. You have because to. Because if you are going for people, you should have a strategy <laughs> to always. No, it's not you have a, to prepare yourself. It's not everybody. There are some people you will, you will you would get to and would hit you back, and you will not be able to recover. Trust me, it happens to the best. Uh, <laughs> Trump. Uh, what's this other guy's name? The Which one who's one? always after Beyonce and Lil and Kim Kardashian. Oh, the British guy. Yes. Yes, my guy. Um, um, who? Not the comedian, is it? Not no, the, the no, television no, he, uh, host. Jonathan Ross? No, the no. one that was sacked. Um, not the one with the, um, um, the car show. Not the, no, not the one with the car show. He did one late night show too, though. He's a British... My newscaster. Oh, yes. I can't. I can't. Yes. And then he, my moved, he did the late night show in America and they and fired not him. Oh, 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 oh Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan. Morgan. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I've seen him get stuck before and I, I, I do respect him. And I know he jumps in and out of everything to stay. Um, do you see yourself as Nigeria's Piers Morgan? I see myself as a combination of. Donald Trump. Muhammad Ali, Donald, <laughs> Donald Trump. Trump. Donald Trump. You have That's to put Donald not. Trump there. Do you like Donald Trump? Are you actually saying there's some things there? You see, controversial that I've got to, you Donald Donald Trump. 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 Uh, to I've, got to, I've got to be careful. I've got to give it up to Donald Trump. Donald Trump mm -hmm. made three billion dollars by himself. Mm -hmm. He grew his father's business and you know uh, took it to the skies. 
and he was able to go this far. He must be doing in something politics, right mm -hmm. in, in, in politics, fighting against uh, the Clinton dynasty that have ruled us forever, bombing one Iraq man. when no one knew they were bombing, and they, were, they brought um, Monica Lewinsky as a smoke screen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey. So you have left the shores of Nigeria. Wow. And, uh, you, should, you know, I like the fact your criticism doesn't end with our it, geographical it, it, location. You, <laughs> he's prepared for everything. That's, he has to we, be prepared. You, on the show, you cannot leave without us talking about um, your thoughts on marriage and relationships because you've been very vocal about it. When Tokyo Makinwa, Maji Ayida happened, you had you, you did say something <coughs> about it. When Tiwa Savage and T-Bills happened, you mm -hmm. also had comments to say about it. But we'll be asking you so that you can gather your thoughts together. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, Daddy Freeze is still here. Are on the hot seat. On the hot seat. And it's red. It's fire. <laughs> it's fire. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. It's still the blog. If you have any questions, ask us on Twitter. <laughs> to enjoy more of this our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.